On November 21, 2024, the bustling city of Nantes, France, experienced an unexpected disruption to its usual rhythm. The Chevier Bridge, a vital artery for the city's traffic, was closed for several hours. This closure was a necessary precaution in response to extreme weather conditions that posed a significant risk to public safety. The bridge closure serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the importance of heeding safety warnings. The closure caused significant inconvenience for commuters and travelers, highlighting the critical role the bridge plays in the daily life of the city. However, the safety of the public remained paramount, guiding the decisions of authorities throughout the day. The closure of the Chevier Bridge was directly caused by exceptionally strong winds that swept through Nantes. These winds were not just a minor inconvenience, they were a significant meteorological event that had a profound impact on the city and its infrastructure. The Chevier Bridge, a critical artery for transportation, found itself at the mercy of nature's fury. The decision to close the bridge was made swiftly to ensure the safety of the public and to prevent any potential accidents that could arise from such extreme weather conditions. Météo France, the National Meteorological Service, issued early warnings of an approaching weather system carrying gale force winds. These warnings were disseminated through various channels including television, radio and social media to ensure that the public was adequately informed. The Meteorological Service had been tracking the weather system for several days, noting its potential to bring hazardous conditions to the region. The early warnings allowed residents and local authorities to prepare for the impending storm, taking necessary precautions to safeguard lives and property. These winds, reaching speeds exceeding, insert wind speed here, kilometers per hour, posed a serious threat to the structural integrity of the bridge and the safety of anyone attempting to cross it. The anemometers installed on the bridge recorded wind speeds that were unprecedented for this time of year. Engineers and safety experts closely monitored the situation, assessing the potential risks and making real-time decisions to mitigate any dangers. The high wind speeds not only tested the limits of the bridge's design, but also highlighted the importance of having robust emergency response plans in place. The wind speeds recorded on November 21st were highly unusual for Nantes, even during the autumn season. Historical weather data indicated that such extreme wind events were rare, making this particular storm an anomaly. The city, known for its relatively mild climate, was unaccustomed to dealing with such severe weather conditions. This anomaly prompted discussions among meteorologists and climate scientists about the potential causes, including climate change and shifting weather patterns. The unusual wind speed served as a stark reminder of the increasing unpredictability of weather events in the modern era. They were strong enough to uproot trees, damage buildings, and cause power outages in some areas. The aftermath of the storm was evident throughout the city, with fallen trees blocking roads and damaged buildings requiring immediate attention. Power outages affected thousands of residents, disrupting daily life and highlighting the vulnerability of the city's infrastructure to extreme weather events. Emergency services were deployed to address the most critical issues, working tirelessly to restore normalcy and ensure the safety of the community. The Chevier Bridge, being a high and exposed structure, was particularly vulnerable to the full force of these winds. Its elevation and location made it a focal point for the storm's impact, with the bridge swaying noticeably under the pressure. The structural integrity of the bridge was put to the test, and while it withstood the immediate onslaught, the event underscored the need for ongoing maintenance and potential upgrades to enhance its resilience. The closure of the bridge, though inconvenient, was a necessary measure to protect lives and prevent any catastrophic failures. As the wind speeds intensified, the situation became increasingly perilous for all types of vehicles. The weather forecast had predicted severe wind conditions, but the reality was even more daunting. The gusts were strong enough to sway even the sturdiest of trees, and the bridge, a critical artery for daily commuters, was no exception the authorities had to act swiftly to prevent any potential disasters. In response to the escalating wind speeds, authorities implemented a phased closure of the Chevier Bridge. This strategic approach was designed to minimize disruption while ensuring safety. Initially, the traffic lights on the bridge were adjusted to manage the flow of vehicles more effectively. The bridge, usually bustling with activity, began to show signs of reduced traffic as the phased closure took effect. Initially, 
restrictions were placed on high-sided vehicles, such as trucks, vans and vehicles towing caravans. These types of vehicles are particularly vulnerable to strong winds due to their larger surface area, which acts like a sail, catching the wind and making them difficult to control. The restrictions were clearly communicated through road signs and traffic alerts, ensuring that drivers were well informed. These vehicles are particularly susceptible to strong winds, which can push them off course or even overturn them. The sight of a truck swaying dangerously in the wind or a caravan struggling to stay on the road was a stark reminder of the risks involved. In some cases, the winds were so strong that they caused vehicles to overturn, leading to accidents and road closures. This initial measure aimed to mitigate the immediate risks while allowing lighter vehicles to continue using the bridge. Cars and smaller vehicles, though still affected by the wind, were less likely to be blown off course. Drivers were advised to proceed with caution, maintaining a safe speed and keeping a firm grip on the steering wheel. The goal was to keep traffic moving as smoothly as possible under the circumstances. However, as the wind speeds continued to increase, it became clear that a full closure of the bridge was necessary. The safety of motorists was the top priority, and the worsening weather conditions left no room for compromise. Authorities held emergency meetings to assess the situation and make the difficult decision to close the bridge entirely. This decision was made to ensure the safety of all motorists and prevent any potential accidents. The announcement was made through various channels, including social media, news outlets and electronic road signs. Safety barriers were put in place to prevent any vehicles from attempting to cross the bridge, and additional personnel were deployed to manage the situation. The full closure prohibited all vehicular traffic from crossing the bridge, forcing motorists to seek alternative routes. Detour signs were strategically placed to guide drivers to safer paths, and traffic updates were provided regularly to keep everyone informed. While the closure caused inconvenience, the priority was clear, ensuring the safety and well-being of all road users. The empty bridge stood as a testament to the power of nature and the importance of taking timely, decisive action in the face of such challenges. Section 4. Navigating the closure, detours and alternatives. To manage the flow of traffic during the Shavir Bridge closure, authorities established detours and alternative routes. Northbound traffic was diverted. Describe the exact detour route for northbound traffic. Southbound traffic, on the other hand, was directed to follow. Describe the exact detour route for southbound traffic. These detours, while necessary, inevitably led to increased congestion and delays. Motorists were advised to consult live traffic updates and GPS navigation apps to choose the most efficient routes. Real-time information was crucial in navigating the unexpected road closures and adjusting travel plans accordingly. Section 5. Traffic Chaos and Motorist Advisory The closure of the Shavir Bridge had a significant impact on traffic flow in and around Nantes. This vital artery, which connects various parts of the city, is heavily relied upon by thousands of commuters every day. Its sudden closure created a ripple effect, leading to widespread traffic disruptions. The detours, while well marked, struggled to accommodate the usual volume of traffic that relies on the bridge daily. These alternative routes were not designed to handle such a high influx of vehicles, leading to bottlenecks and slow-moving traffic. Motorists found themselves navigating unfamiliar paths, adding to the overall confusion and delay. This resulted in heavy traffic congestion, particularly during peak commuting hours. Morning and evening rush hours saw the worst of it, with vehicles barely moving and long lines of cars stretching for miles. The usual 30-minute commute turned into a grueling two-hour ordeal for many. Delays stretched into hours for some motorists, disrupting schedules and causing frustration. Tempers flared as drivers honked their horns in exasperation, and the stress of the situation was palpable. Many were late for work, appointments and other commitments, leading to a cascade of inconveniences. Authorities issued advisories urging motorists to avoid unnecessary travel if possible. They recommended using alternative modes of transportation, such as cycling or walking, for shorter distances. The advisories were broadcasted through various channels, including social media, radio and television, to reach as many people as possible. They also encouraged commuters to consider working from home or adjusting their travel times to avoid the peak hours. Flexible work arrangements became a necessity rather than a convenience, as business